I've been called out. <laughs> Nate, SWD crawlers, who I believe looks a lot like Pat Oswald, started a, a web challenge where uh, basically talk about the build of your Jeep, your favorite modification, first modification. Uh, if you have to do it all over again, what would you do? And what would be your ideal modifications for your Jeep? First, we're gonna feed the sour cream to the chickens. Do they even eat sour cream? I don't know, let's find out. Is there anything worse than in the fall of walking into a spider web? These things are all over my yard. Ugh. They're ready for it. They want it. Easy guys, girls. Hey, hey, hey. Look at them go. There you have it. First modification, I believe everybody's first modification should be these. Front toe points. You're going to get stuck. And believe me, you will get stuck. And you're going to need something to hank on to to pull out. You don't want to yank anything important off on your Jeep. Even Wendy has some. Sadly, Ashley does not have one. But uh, part of raising kids is letting them make their own mistakes. My favorite modification is this. Cup holders. How come Jeep didn't come up with the idea until 1997? Is beyond me. I don't know. Maybe there's no beer drinkers. You can't drink beer and drive, but... Anyhow, thanks Jeep. My most useful modification is the roof rack. I use it all the time. I don't think I could survive without one. I'm always tossing stuff up there and bungeeing it down. It's They don't give you much room in a Jeep or in an XJ. I imagine the Wrangler's the same. I don't know how you put a roof rack on a soft top. I, I, there's probably a way because I'm, I'm sure I've seen it. But anyhow, extra storage space comes in handy. Roof rack. Bueno. My next modification, I'm going to have to do something about this. Uh, I'm running open diffs, so I think I like to put a limited slip or a selectable locker in the axle. But before I do that, I don't know if you can tell, I've got no skid plates. So I think I, before I lock up, I think I should armor it up a little bit. Like a lot of people, uh, I'm pretty happy with my Jeep. I don't think I would trade it in. This is my ideal vehicle uh, yeah I kind of like to have a, wr a Wrangler because I like be able to take the top down but then I hit the trails and at the end of the day people take their doors and their tops off and when we get back they're all covered in dust and mud and I'm nice and clean from driving around in the air conditioning all day yeah I know <laughs> lazy man wheeling I had to do it over again. My first lift was a two inch budget lift, uh, junkyard build, S10 leaf springs and coil sp spacers. And, uh, so a two inch lift. And then I scrapped that and went with a four inch lift. If I, if I had to do it all over again, I would just uh, scrap the two inch lift and just go with four inch. And uh, that, that's my advice to everybody. If you're gonna put a lift on your Jeep, Go a little bit bigger than what you want. You know, save the money if you have to. Because you put a two inch lift on and then you scrap it and you put a four inch lift on. Or if you want a four inch, just go ahead with a six inch. If you want a six inch, do an eight inch. But uh, you're going to save money in the long run because you're going to do it twice. I've never run across anybody who said, man, my Jeep is just too high. So go big. You'll be glad you did. A uh, four inch lift with 31 inch tires on it is perfect for me. Uh, any taller and I don't think I'd be able to get out of it or in and out of this thing. I'm kind of short, my knees don't bend too well, so this this is great. I, I go just about anywhere I want to go. Man. Chicken's laying an egg, man. Uh, now it's my turn to... <laughs> now it's my turn to... to... <laughs> I'd like to call out Eric, the real space rag. Uh, this is a YouTube channel. It's got multiple Jeeps. Uh, does everyday stuff with it. And uh, 
puts his content up there in a, in a funny, witty way that even I can understand. I also like to call out uh, Nick and Time Films. Uh, pretty interesting channel. You should check it out. And I like to also call out Biggin325. There's a channel I just stumbled upon just a few weeks ago that uh, it looks pretty intense. I'd like to hear what he has to say. All right, guys, I'm calling you out. So, uh, yeah. And uh, thanks, Nate, for coming up with this idea. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I, I enjoy it.